Kept It Organized-ish. My name is Leela and I help people organize their homes and their lives and today that is what I'm doing for myself because normally I show you really pretty organized spaces in my home and what I'm about to show you is not pretty and organized at all. Actually my office has kind of been let go for a little bit and it's kind of a disaster. So today I'm going to clean it all up, organize the entire desk area, tackle some cord clutter and paper clutter, and hopefully make this a functional workspace so I can actually get through my day without stressing out. If you've got spaces in your home that are just like this, make sure you subscribe so you get all kinds of other organizing ideas along the way. Now I'm about to tackle this office and I am not leaving until I'm done. The first thing I always recommend to do when you're cleaning up a big mess and planning to organize what's left is to make a list of all of the storage items you need, all of the functionality you need this space to serve, and put it all on a piece of paper so that way when you're in the heat of the moment and you're super overwhelmed, you still have some kind of plan to follow. Once you have your list made, the next step is to throw away any obvious trash and put away anything that doesn't belong in the area. I'm just sorting out all of these papers, throwing away trash, and then smashing myself in the face with my microphone. After you've narrowed it down to just the things that are going to stay in that space, it's a good idea to sort everything into categories. That way you can decide how much space each category is going to need. You might think you need an entire drawer for one category, but really you just need one section. Or it could be the other way around and you need more space than you expected. I'm going to work on the top of the desk first, and actually I bought this acrylic computer riser almost six months ago, I think, and it's just been sitting in here and I never used it. So today is the day that I'm going to finally raise my computer up to a comfortable height, that way my neck isn't hurting after editing videos and blog posts. After testing it out, I think I'm gonna keep it. So now I'm just emptying off my desk so I can give it a good clean session before I start to fill it back up again. No matter what type of space you're organizing, the best way to get started is to organize the things that you use most frequently first. These should get top priority space in wherever you're working on, that way they're always easy to access on a daily basis. For me personally, I use about four different types of notebooks throughout my day and they're all sorted into category. So I'm using this divider to separate the notebooks to where they all stand up neatly and I can just grab one without the others falling over. This definitely beats storing them in a big stack or having to use bulky bookends. The next priority is finding a place to store the papers that are in use. You saw my before videos. The desk was full of papers. So I picked up some of these paper holders from Target and I'm going to make some labels. That way I always know where the papers go and I don't have to sort through a huge messy stack.
Now that the top of the desk is organized, it's time to work on the drawers. There are a lot of different types of desk organizers on the market, but I found that kitchen drawer organizers work just as well and they're usually half of the price too. It's important to only put the things in there that you'll need frequently. My desk has three drawers and I really don't need to keep half of the things that I'm putting in here, but I have the drawer space so I'm able to. If you don't have a lot of space though, things like these rubber bands and extra staples and all of the backstock items can be stored somewhere else. But since I have the space, I'm going ahead and putting them here just so I can find everything and utilize the entire drawer. One key to keeping your desk drawers nice and organized, especially if you keep cords in it, is to wrap and bind them. Small cords can easily get out of hand and they can also make your desk drawer jam to where you can't open it at all. You can buy specialty cord wraps like I have or you can just use recycled twist ties. For this drawer, I'm going to store all of my camera supplies and I'm using this tray so I can keep everything separated. It's really helpful for me to be able to just grab this entire tray and take it upstairs if I need to without having to take out each item individually. I think I have the desk organized in a way that's going to work for me, but I always like to give myself a two week trial period so I can test it out and see how it works. I typically like to write down anything that isn't working for me just so I can compare to see if maybe it just takes some getting used to or if it's actually not functional. But before I can finish, I need to tackle this cord situation. Since my desk isn't against a wall and there's a concrete slab below so I can't put an outlet on the floor, I'm using this raceway track to just redirect the cords to where they're not as in the way as they had been. These tracks can stick right on the back of your desk and you just put the cord down inside. So you're basically just pulling the cord over to the side of the desk instead of it hanging down in the middle, which is really helpful because I like to stretch my feet out sometimes and I usually have a heater in front of me and so this is keeping that cord from getting in the way of both of those. For a little extra security, I zip tied the cord to the legs. There's still going to be a cord in the floor but it's definitely not as bad as it was. So that's it. I was able to get this entire area cleaned up and organized and all of my desk supplies are nice and neat so I can use them tomorrow when I'm ready to work. Whether you have a full home office or just a desk in your bedroom, I hope this gave you some ideas and inspiration on how to make your workspace more functional. I'll link all the organizers I used in this project down below in the description and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more organizing tips and tutorials. And let me know in the comments what space you want me to organize next.